Hey guys, it's Ollie from Flight Comp again, and uh, I'm going to make a short video today, and it's going to be sort of an addendum to the first video I made about the Grotner MZ32 and sailplane programming. So this, this really should have been included in the first video. Uh, I may have made some mistakes in the programming in the first video, or I should say I, I found some bugs down the line that um, were caused by some of the things I did uh, initially in my programming. So this is like an addendum, or it could be, you know, part 1.5 or something. But uh, I'm going to go over a few things relating to the, the flaps and the control set menu in the radio. And I ran into some problems trying to get variable camber set up uh, in the radio. I, was, I just wasn't able to do it. It wasn't working right. And I had to go back and really dig through the programming and figure out why. So the first thing I want to talk about is the control set menu. So we can go go to the control set menu. It's in the base menu. You hit control set. And let's look at the flap. Okay. Um, you really want to make sure that in all your flight modes where you're not using your flap, so your um, thermal mode, speed mode, reflex, launch, etc., that there is no control set for the flap, so it's just blank. Otherwise, the radio um, can do some funny things, and it'll really uh, uh, sort of inhibit your ability to get variable camber programmed into the radio later on. So I have nothing set for control set in the uh, for flaps except for landing. in the landing in landing mode it's obviously the um, throttle stick Normal. and then if you have a camber mode and you want variable camber, um, camber I have a camber mode and the control for that is lever one so there there are controls in my camber uh, flight mode and my Normal. My landing flight mode. Landing. Normal. Okay. And all your other flight modes, leave this blank. It's going to help you uh, later on uh, down the line. Now, if we go to landing. our landing flight mode and we, we see the control is, is the throttle stick, let's hit this. In the previous video, I had set this to the hourglass shape where it was a... Uh, two-way throw up and down and it actually worked fine it was perfectly fine it, it did everything I wanted it to do except for when I got to programming variable camber I ran into a bunch of problems and uh, so I had to go back and set this to a one-way throw okay um, now there's a very interesting or it can be actually confusing and muddled the correlation between the direction of the control for your flaps and your servo reversing. Basically, you can sort of either reverse your servos or, or reverse this, but it has an effect later on down the line in the camber menu. So it's something you kind of got to play with, your, servo, your flap servo reversing and your control servo reversing to make sure that when you go to program your camber, um, things work the right way for you and, and I'll show you what I mean by that so if we get out of this and we want to go go to the function menu and go to wing set go to your flap rate and click on the airplane Normal. this line the yellow line you want this to be in the middle um, in all your flight modes when your surfaces are neutral. So we're in normal and it's in the middle. And if we thermal. flip to thermal, it's in the middle again. Normal. Speed, Speed etc. Normal. And when we go into landing mode, it's also in the middle and it only moves one direction as you can see. Previously, in my landing mode, the yellow line was all the way, I had a, a the, the two-way throw set up and it was uh, all the way over here. And when I moved my flap stick down, it would traverse across the screen. And that made sense to me, but when I tried to program camber, I couldn't do it. So basically, if you want variable camber, Normal. make sure that line's in the middle. And then when we go to our camber flight mode, camber. 
we can see uh, the lines in the middle also. And what was happening basically was in my camber menu, you know, the line with new with the surfaces neutral, the yellow line would be over on one side, and I couldn't program uh, any values to adjust the camber. So this is just a quick thing. I found there's sort of multiple ways to set up this radio to get your flaps and your uh, and your control surfaces working right. Um, so I don't know if it's right or wrong, but if you want variable camber, you basically have to do this. So you have to ensure that in in your all your flight modes that your yellow line is in the middle in your flap rate menu. Camber normal. So camber, you can you can. Uh, normal. Get your surfaces working the way you want. Okay, real quick, let's um, go back to a control set, and we'll go into the camber camber mode, camber flight mode, and we see we have the lever assigned, and you want that to be one way too. See there, and again, uh, you know, you can reverse it to um, get it going the right direction for you. But yeah, you want you want your lever. One way, not the two way, not not the uh, the hourglass like this. So there you go. Um, I hope that helps some of you out. This can be really confusing. You can actually go through and set up your whole airplane and get everything working properly, um, and then not be able to get variable camber at the very end. <laughs> it's 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 confusing. You can get your flaps working the right direction by reversing the servos or reversing the control. Uh, function and then down the line that could cause problems. So I think it take it, you know it's really important to take some time and get everything going the right way at the very beginning. So okay that that that's it basically. It's just sort of uh, an addendum to the first video. I didn't want to pull down the first video and re-edit it. So I hope this I hope this uh, helps some of you guys out with your MZ32s and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.